is there as well. It's awkward for Grabala. And Neil Adams was waiting right on the line. And Liverpool reflect on a disaster at their end. All right, able to deal with the danger this time. Thomas. Saunders, no offside, McManaman, Rosenthal's up with him, it's a clear chance for Liverpool, it's 1-1, Steve McManaman sprinted clear and scored with a plum. Bravely done by Nicol, and he might have made an opening for Liverpool here by ducking in, an opening for himself perhaps, certainly for Saunders! Oldham 1, Liverpool 2. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't uh, particularly orderly from Oldham at the back. Don't really expect that, but up front is a different matter. Richie for Adams. Henry is in the middle. Can he get it here? Cover in the shape of Tanner. The closest that Oldham have come, and Nicky Tanner, the Liverpudlian. In with a great chance of the equaliser against his uh, boyhood favourites. But it was a wonderful Oldham attack. They just needed more force at the finish, but here come Liverpool. And Thomas! Michael Thomas is a scorer for Liverpool for the first time. Now Adams has been an outlet for them on the right-hand side. And Grubala, as we've got there, Bernard! 3-2. And another adventure goes wrong for Bruce Grubala. And we start with our first goal of the day contender from Crystal Palace's Jeff Thomas. Palace, the only team to have beaten Leeds in the league this season, going in front at Ellen Road where the First Division leaders haven't won for six games, League and Cup. Now, when Saturday comes, Leeds don't normally play. It was their first Saturday outing for nine games. Chris Fackler's first goal of the season for a point. Here's Harding. Nice piece of skill, losing Webb and then Parker, and indeed Pallister. And here's Kevin Bartlett. Tries to get the shot away. He's brought down, is he? Penalty, yes. Johnson, 1-0, Notts County have the lead. Webb, Pallister, here's Ince, goes tumbling, penalty. The foul by Mark Draper. Clayton Blackmore levels it up. Few moments and moves of genuine quality, but this gets the gold star. Manchester City's match winner in chief, David White, finishing in a custom style for his 14th of the season. But in the end, City were grateful to goalkeeper Tony Coton. A miraculous, instinctive save that stunned Robert Rosario. He just couldn't believe it. A well-earned but controversial victory by Sheffield Wednesday following their drubbing by Leeds on the match last week. Was Nigel Jemson's header over the line, or did Les Seeley prevent it from going over the line? Seeley was convinced he'd saved it, and his initial protests were only a prelude for what came later. I doubt whether we've heard the last of all this. Four without defeat now for Chelsea, up against the Wimbledon side, who appear to have lost much of their old fire and tenacity. A far cry from the days of the crazy gang. Andy Townsend's first in the league for four months. Number two came as a result of the classic near-post corner routine. Kerry Dixon's flick, Clive Allen all alone for his sixth goal in seven league games since joining Chelsea. Well, only one win in 17 games since Peter Witt took charge at Wimbledon, and only 13 goals. Robbie Earl with 15 minutes to go. From close range or long range, Arsenal just can't get it right. One goal in five league outings. Horn and oh, Vandenhaus beaten and it's a goal. 
Vandenham loses control and Mickey Adams comes and hits the ball into the back of the net. Mabbott wins that one on the air, but it comes to Dowie who turns around, shoots and scores. And that was a great turn by Dowie. Mabbott tries a shot, and it's there! This is taken on by Gage now, and Beckford here makes his first calm and very composed catch. So Darren Beckford on in the second half for Norwich City. Well, when they signed him for £950,000, they weren't expecting him to be a goalkeeper. Straight back from Beasley, he's onside, surely now Ian Bryson against Beckford and Bryson, he can't beat him, and Beckford wins the applause of the Norwich fans. And surely they've got to lift it in where all the Sheffield United players are, that's a little bit longer, a bit better, out the chance for Beasley, a toe poke straight at the Norwich defender, now it's Gage off the underside of the bar, and the follow-up produces the goal. At last for Sheffield United, and Ian Bryson has broken his long, long sequence without a goal. Peak. Bishop has another chance. As West Ham stay in the area. Good drive, and he scored! And Mike Small puts it in. Mistake by Laws, can Mo Johnson finish it off? A wonderful save by Crossley. Fantastic bit of goalkeeping after a superb header by Morris Johnston. The Everton wall will be shuddering and wondering how they can withstand this sort of assault. Maybe it's going to be Woe. No, he plays it short. There we are. And a deflection. And it's into the net. Scott Gemmell's shot deflecting off an Everton defender. clearance by Southall, Chettle with a header, Beardsley with a lovely little touch, Ward after this one, gets it through for Cotty, great goalkeeping again by Crossley, Lover, no, no. Gemmel, Keane, Gemmel, nice little touch there, Gemmel trying to go all the way and might well finish it off, oh what a save by Southall, Beardsley again to Harper, knocking it forward to Johnston, Johnson again to Beardsley. And wide again for Mark Ward. Cotty's waiting in the middle. Johnson's in there too. Morris Johnston now. What a miss. Puts his head in his hands. A great, great move again by Everton. Beardsley. Ward. There's Keown in there. He's played well. Cross is coming, there's problems here. And he's been knocked in by Watson. And Everton for a level. 